Black girls rock. Black girls run. Black girls sing. And you know what else? Black girls get HIV more than any other group. A decrease in funding means less education in our schools and in our communities. And that's a dangerous thing. I'm nine years old, and kids my age are totally misinformed about transmission and prevention of HIV. We aren't going to stay young forever, so give us the tools we need now. HIV prevention to me means growth, opportunity, and family. Imagine an 18-year-old girl finding out that she's HIV positive and she's also pregnant and worrying that her child will be HIV positive as well. That was the situation back in 1990. But now, due to research, you have the same 18-year-old girl finding out that she's HIV positive and also pregnant and not worrying about her daughter being born with the virus. That is what HIV AIDS research does for us in the African American community. It gives us hope that we won't have children born with HIV AIDS. I've been living with HIV for 31 years and AIDS for 22. I was infected in an era where we really didn't know very much about HIV. It's been a long journey. But honestly, I would prefer not to have HIV. I wish that prevention was an issue when I became infected with HIV at 23 years old, but it wasn't. As a black woman living with HIV, I'm disheartening that the cases of HIV are so disproportionate in the black community here in the state of Illinois and throughout the country. We can change this, but we need help to do it. Treatment is great, but our best course of action is prevention. 